guys, Shiny here, back at it again with another Reckless Quest video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get iPhone notifications inside of the Oculus Quest. I, when I just got one, what did he text me? Oh. Uh, that was just my friend being his normal kidding self what was it what was i saying again that's right guys using a free app called relay vr found on sidequest you can actually see all iphone notifications inside of your headset as you would oculus notifications now, even though the developers have sent this to me for free, it only costs something like $3, and it will not re uh, change my opinion on the game or on my review. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it all up, some gameplay footage of it, and is it really practical, slash, would I really use this, you know, in, in a game like Beat Saber? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the setup of this is actually really simple. All you need to do is make sure that your iPhone's Bluetooth is on and in range of your Quest. Then you need to hop over to the Relay VR either Unknown Sources app or the Oculus TV app and open that up. Once inside, you go over to the left menu where you can see Add New Device. When you click that, it will start scanning for the device and once it finds yours, it will pop up and you can confirm that that is your device. After that, you should start being able to see all sorts of iPhone notifications in VR. If you don't like how many notifications you're getting, you can always go into settings and adjust what notifications you're getting, which is also a really helpful feature. But now that you've got Relay VR set up, let's hop into an app and let's see how it goes. the gameplay. Now it's time to say, is this really that practical? And the truth is, I would say, yeah. At first, I was going into this thinking, no way is this going to actually like be very practical, as when you're playing Beat Saber, you don't have time to look down and, you know, see the messages, especially not on your phone. So that is super awesome, that it actually was pretty easy for me to look down really quickly and read what he was saying before going back to chopping the blocks, which is awesome. And would I ever use this? Yes, a ton. There have been so many instances in my life of playing VR where I've gotten messages or I've been waiting for a friend to play with me and but and I can't tell whether he's uh, you know ready to play or not because I want to play some VR while I'm waiting. And now this is really easy to you know help me know if my friend is ready to play or if he still needs more time, which is really, really, really awesome. Alright, so now it's time for my review. Relay VR is quite the amazing app. It might be a little bit of a hassle to get working as it is still in beta and you might encounter some bug fixes, but the setup seems very fairly easy and I gotta admit it looks really clean once you actually do get it set up and in the game. It works super well and I just can't believe someone would make this, so thank you to Relay VR for sending me this. It was super cool and it's really awesome. That's the end of you guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, anything you want to say. Follow me on Patreon, support the Twitch, all the way around. Support the Patreon, follow me on Twitch, uh, get the fake merch. I'm not doing it at this point. As always, guys, stay close.